On Wednesday, the 12th of June, the Supreme Court handed down their much-awaited decision in the matter of the Renos. This short video explains why the case is important to Hunter machinery insurers, what the Supreme Court decided, and what the decision means to insurers. The dispute was whether the vessel was a CTL for the purposes of our Hunnam machinery policy. The Supreme Court was asked to consider two questions. The first, can costs incurred prior to a notice of abandonment being given be included in the calculation for a CTL? The second, can scopic costs be included in the calculation for a CTL? Both the Commercial Court and the Court of Appeal had concluded that scopic costs should count towards the calculation of a CTL. This was bad news for Hunnam machinery insurers as it made it easier for vessels to claim CTLs under their policies. In relation to the first question, the Supreme Court agreed with both the Commercial Court and the Court of Appeal. They agreed that the costs of repairing the damage to the RENOS for the purposes of Section 62.2 of the Marine Insurance Act included all reasonable costs of salving and safeguarding the RENOS from the date of the casualty as well as any prospective future costs in repairing it. In considering whether scopic costs should count towards the calculation of a CTL, the Supreme Court distinguished Article 13 salvage costs, which are to preserve the vessel, and Article 14 or scopic costs, which were intended to prevent environmental damage. The Supreme Court said that because scopic costs are not intended to preserve the vessel, they should not count towards the calculation of a CTL. The part of the decision related to SCOPIC will be welcomed by marine property insurers and reflects the existing market practice. Whether it's quite right to characterise SCOPIC as solely relating towards pollution response is up for debate. The scope and application of SCOPIC is as far from clear cut as it might have been when it was launched over 20 years ago as the salvage market has grown and evolved.